I am Joanna and I am a member of the Faithful Remnant Church. We are led by Pope Peter the Last, who is a true Pope of this era. He is also called as Petrus Romanus. He, along with his wife Mary Romanus, are also the two witnesses spoken about in the book of Revelations, chapter 11. This video is for the members of the Faithful Remnant and for the future remnant to be. All the messages that I am going to quote are mere excerpts from testimony of the two witnesses, that is, the testimony of Jesus Christ the Lord. The topic of this video is, When will mankind's rejection of God cease? You might be telling yourself, I did not reject God. I don't doubt God. Well, then there is something that you need to hear. If you reject the two witnesses, if you reject the last true Pope of this era, if you reject the Most High True God's testimony, then you are rejecting God. God does not bow down to the will of man. But if you need God to help you, you will need to believe and do all that he is asking of you. So I will let you listen to what Jesus Christ, the Most High True God, has revealed from heaven through his two witnesses in the month of September of 2009. Jesus said, and I quote, Love is the foundation and cornerstone of all that encompasses the good, for there is good in all that I have created by my words. However, mankind has polluted, even snuffed out the goodness he has inside himself. All good things come from me, and all bad things that happen to good people as well. But I will sustain them during the trials they go through. I will help them if they will turn to me in order for me to heal them. For mankind is truly lost without being led by the divine power that comes from without, not within. I speak of the power to love selflessly. Wars, famines, pandemics, disasters of every kind are all because mankind has turned away from its creator and has sought out companionship with fellow creatures instead. They cling to one another and to each other's egos and neglect clinging to their creator who only wants to love them and bring them to the kingdom of heaven. So many protests, so many no's. When will mankind's rejection of God cease? Never. I tell you both. That is why I must come. That is why I must pull my faithful remnant out before all of this unfolds. Yes, I know there are many who doubt the truth. But that does not change what is true. Just because others choose to live in their own world without me, having no consequences for their actions, does not mean that they will not have to pay the price for their rejection of me. I only have love to give to my children and discipline is love. Just because they ask me for what they want does not mean that I will give them that, but only what they need is truly good for them. Soon the world will be remade. Soon the world will be reborn, anew, refreshed, so to speak. I will create all things new. And for those who want to come to the kingdom of heaven, the door is always open. It's there for them. And for those who prefer the hot fires of hell because of rebellion against the truth that is in them, well then, that is where they will go because they choose to. It's very simple. People must choose teams and they must know who their allegiance is to. The introduction of the very chip is simply a concrete manifestation 
of what they have already chosen, of the spiritual realities at work in them. People can deny me and go on believing that heaven and hell do not exist and that their life is over after death. But I tell you, they cannot deny the spiritual realities when they are faced with them. How frail and how weak are mere mortals, they are about to find out. They have pushed me out of creation. They have pushed me out of the churches, out of my own church. They have pushed me out of the schools. They have even pushed me out of the hospitals. I am not welcome in this world as a whole, except for a very few faithful remnant. I will not sit back and be a mere spectator of the world events, but I will have a divine intervention, such as the world has never experienced before this time. Many will have to choose teams and decide whether or not to go or stay behind. They will have to choose between family, friends, life and death. They cannot have both. The great warning will bring many people's choices to light. And then they will know that I exist. And then they will know my name. My name is Holy of Holies, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. And my name is Jesus Christ. I am coming back as ruler over all the nations of this earth. Those who are with me are with me. Those who are against me, against my plans, against my kingdom, and against peace, truth, justice, and love, woe to them. They will be cast into the ever-burning lake of fire because they have denied me, and to deny me, in fact, is to hate me. To hate me is to hate life and truth. There is no life in hell. Neither is there any truth there. O oh, foolish men, what you have brought upon yourselves by your sins has been declared by all of heaven, who watches you with pity. As you catapult yourselves into the fiery pits of hell, because you think it's warmer there, you have been so deceived, and now you will pay the price for your sins. End quote. So now, while there is still time, turn back to your Creator, your Lord, your God. Repent wholeheartedly of all your sins before the time runs out. This is the end times and this era is rapidly coming to an end. Don't keep waiting for the microchip implant or the rapture. The rapture is not happening. And the chip is only a physical reality of the choices that you make in your spiritual reality, according to the Most High True God spiritual laws. You can visit testimonyofthetwowitnesses.com to learn more truths.